Devil May Cry launched in 2001 on the PlayStation 2 and was best described in one word, cool or fully sick. Yeah, we used to talk like that. And in this video, we are going to appreciate just how freaking awesome this game truly was. First up, Dante was freaking cool, man. Rocking that red long coat, white hair, and the Final Fantasy VII sword on his back. You wanted to control this guy ASAP. This tone carried out into the cutscenes. I mean, check out how dramatic simply getting a new sword is in this game. This was a powerful clip. None of what we just saw should be possible. And oh my goodness, did he seriously recover two seconds later? Lightning blasting through the ceiling? Devil May Cry had to be as stylish as possible and just as dramatic. And guess what? We freaking duckin' loved it. Sure, he was cocky, but managed to still be cool and likable. The game had decent difficulty, which we will talk about in a second. But first, Let's see his first encounter with a massive enemy. I remember shiting myself, thinking how am I going to beat this thing, and how Dante looked at that same threat like it was a joke. You looked forward to each and every cutscene in this game. You knew Dante had any situation and it was produced with a lot of style. It was clear literally every angle had been heavily considered and the constant question of how can we make this moment feel even more boss would have been on the developer's mind. But Dante and style aside, let's talk about gameplay, which was even more thug life. The combat system in Devil May Cry from the very first entry was one of the best we had ever seen. Your sword was powerful and simply spamming the attack button would send enemies flying. You quickly learned that a bit of practice and technique went a long way. If you had paused between swing 2 and 3 for example, a different moveset would come bursting out of Dante. Now, even though the architecture of Devil May Cry was very gothic-like and so far we had only seen blades, it did not mean that modern guns did not exist in this universe. You got access, in fact, to two twin pistols for ranged attacks and the daring choice the developers made here was to have unlimited ammunition. This was the first time I experienced such a thing and it blew me away. What made my jaw drop, however, was when I realized I could combine my ranged attacks with the melee attacks in the coolest freaking way possible. 
Now, this next description literally is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in gaming, and this was the first game to do it. Respect is the word that you're looking for here. So, with your Final Fantasy VII sword, you could hit enemies into the air and jump after them and do even more damage in the air. Eventually, I thought, hang on, can I shoot them with my guns? Not only could I shoot them while they were in the air and I was grounded, but each bullet made them hover just a tiny bit. I could circle the enemy from below and fill them with bullets as they helplessly could not defend. My mind was blown. By this point, Devil May Cry could do nothing wrong. Thankfully, this was but a taste of how cool this game was and how fun it was to play. You would later get access to a shotgun, rocket launcher, yes, even those bad boys were unlimited, but you also got access to these fire gloves that let Dante literally beat his enemies with his flaming fists. Suddenly, Ken from Street Fighter had entered the ring and every single weapon was well balanced with their power, speed, and combos. Another thing that made Dante really stand out was the fixed camera angles that followed the player as you ran about. Often Dante would be filling up the entire screen and letting you perv on those awesome PlayStation 2 polygons and textures. Fixed camera angles really do make games feel more cinematic and Devil May Cry puts them to good use. The camera is also panned out when needed, like in this instance to appreciate the scope and architecture. Enemy design also deserves a shout out, starting with these puppet monsters with blades for hands. It set the tone of enemies to come. Their attacks were slow, so newcomers could get comfortable with the controls, but each swing did a decent amount of damage, punishing players who got too complacent. Next up, well, let me play the clip for their awesome introduction. This enemy was able to block you and put up a decent fight, even against your new weapon, the shotgun. Time and time again, more and more interesting enemies are presented to you and the pacing was done expertly. I would say Devil May Cry can be a very challenging game, but not unforgiving outside of some boss battles. Experimenting with different melee weapons and guns with different enemy types kept things feeling fresh. Excellent soundtrack accompanying you the whole time as you explore different locations, finding hidden orbs and choosing which new moves to unlock and which weapons to upgrade meant you were always doing something. The perfect storm and this is a PS2 era game. That means it is a complete game that launched bug free with no microtransactions or multiple paywalls getting in the way of the fun. The best in the series in my opinion and if you enjoyed this please, please make sure you have subscribed, hit the bell notification, and like the video. God bless you all, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Happy gaming.